0.10 moles of hydrochloric acid is mixed with 0.10 moles of calcium carbonate, you have this equation given to you. And then you ask, which of these is correct? Now you can notice here that you've got 0.10 moles in each case, or each reactant. But the mole ratio says 2 to 1. Of course, a 1 is understood here, 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 and here. So, if you in fact have 0 0.10 moles of something that is in a 2 to 1 ratio with the other reactant, then it means that a complete reaction would happen with 0 0.10 moles and 0 0.10. 0, 0.5 moles. That's how you get 2 to 1 ratio. So what that means is that when this number of moles actually be used, you will have some of the moles of calcium carbonate left over in excess. If you wanted to use all of that excess, you'll need twice as much of the hydrochloric acid. So this is your limiting reagent. Because the reaction is between 0 0.010 and 0 0.05, means wherever you have a 1, you're going to get 0 0.05 to satisfy the ratio. So it's going to be 0 0.05 moles here, here, and here. Now looking at the answers, we've established that the limiting reagent is hydrochloric acid. So that's C or A. But the other part of it is the maximum yield. For carbon dioxide, you're going to get 0 0.05 moles in keeping with this here. This reagent, calcium carbonate, of which only 0 0.05 would react. To get all of the 0 0.10 to react, you'll need 0 0.20 moles of hydrochloric acid. And you only have 0 0.10 moles of hydrochloric acid. So the answer for this question is that HCl is limiting and the maximum yield of carbon dioxide is 0.05. Answer to the question, C.